And they're off in the Las Barrera to a picture-perfect beginning. Mucho Gusto comes away in good order. Principe Carlo is also up close. And Fantastic in the pink silks is vying for command as well. Synthesis is next. Manhattan up. And Sparkyville at the back of the field. Mucho Gusto comes through on the inside to take the lead away now. In front, three-quarters of a length to Principe Carlo. And Fantastic outside of this pair. Sparkyville inches up a closer fourth. He's only two lengths off the lead. Manhattan up and synthesis widest of all past the half mile. Where heavily favored Mucho Gusto leads by a half length to Principe Carlo and Fantastic. Sparkyville at the rail is fourth, still just two lengths off the lead, then synthesis and Manhattan up. Less than three furlongs remaining for Mucho Gusto. He's been in charge and starts to sneak away. He's in front by a length now, Fantastic. Principe Carlo, Sparkyville awaiting racing room down at the rail as Fantastic makes a nice move outside of Mucho Gusto. They're coming to the eighth pole. Mucho Gusto lets it out a notch, trying to fend off Fantastic. A late run from Manhattan up outside of Sparkyville. Mucho Gusto's class kicks it in the final furlong, and he is turning in a stylish victory in the Las Barrera. Mucho Gusto cruises. Manhattan up, up for second, then Fantastic and Sparky Bill. In the winner's circle, number one, Mucho Gusto. Three year old Chester Cope by Mucho Macho Man out of It's a Giant Causeway. Owned by Michael Peterson. The winning trainer is Bob Baffert, whose assistant is Jimmy Barnes. The jockey, Joe Talamo. Mucho Gusto was bred in Kentucky by Teneri Farm and Bernardo Alvarez Calderon. Running time, 122.96. Ladies and gentlemen, in the winner's circle to make the presentation for the Grade 3 Lazaro Barrera Stakes is longtime Barrera family friend Alex Crowley. Up next, the ninth in 23 minutes. The grade three, Laz Barrera goes to Mucho Gusto, winning rider Joe Talamo. Joe, you've been with this horse for so long. This has got to feel real good. Yeah, he's such a cool horse to ride. Uh, I mean, he's so fast as what you saw today. And when he gets out there, he, he really comes back to you and relaxes really well, which is huge, especially going seven eights. He can he can really harness that speed. And, and uh, the whole way around the turn today, he took a couple breathers. And when those other horses came to him, he was able to quicken pretty nicely. Obviously, you're not Bob Baffert, but your opinion, does he seem like a one-turn miler? Because there's a lot of big races next the rest six months of the year. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he can definitely route it when the circumstances come up. But the poor thing, he's drawn to one hole just about every single time. So we pretty much have to go to the lead. But he he, he definitely is really good, seven eights to a mile. But again, he can for sure go two turns. Question comes up. You've been with him since the beginning. At what point did you say to yourself, working this horse in the morning, this one might be a good one? Really, before he ever ran, um, or, I'm sorry, after I broke his maiden, I started working him a lot in Delmore, and uh, he always acted, he never did act like a two-year-old. He always did act like an older horse. So you really like to like to see that, and he's just progressed forward ever since then. All right, Joe, thanks for the time. Thank you, Pete. All right, Joe Talamo with the victory here in the Las Barrera. Mucho gusto, running away from it.